guys. We had everyone kind of settled in here. They ate. It's relaxing. So far, so good. They're very relaxed. So they ate and they're just kind of soaking up some of the sunlight. I guess we're going to get some rain um, tomorrow. So I'll have to quick to put the bedding out so we don't let them get too uh too wet in there moisture is bad um, i gave them each a bottle they just got a some a probiotic so we'll find the two here. yeah so this is what we gave them here um we gave them a five grams each i'm gonna get a tube of this just kind of helps appetite and helps kind of giving them milk placers on natural so it kind of helps them out um, so far everyone's doing really good i don't even crazy updates to do and i couldn't get a video of feeding them because at this point i still have to jump in there and kind of get them used to it i'm hoping by tonight i can just stick it out here and put them in the holders um i'm pretty sure a couple of these are gonna be on starter here my starter bag some raccoons got into it so it's all nasty so i gotta get a new bag probably do that and then actually might get um some uh, buckets with nipples on it so I don't have to hold the bottles. Um, I might do that too. Um, but yeah, everyone's doing good here. Nothing crazy going on. Just nice and healthy. No crazy poos. Everyone's been doing good. So I'm gonna get back to the rest of my errands. I'm gonna do a couple updates. I know some people have asked what you need to get started, so I might just do a quick rundown on that. But, uh, yeah, real healthy. What's up, buddy? Healthy calves. I'm actually quite happy with them. Um, I was kind of annoyed with them last night because they were all kind of being skittish, but they've kind of settled in. They've kind of settled in. Now they're, hey, now they're just relaxing. Relaxing the sun. Hmm? Yeah. So, that's where we're at right now. And, uh, it's kind of go from here so let me uh get some other chores done and i'll be right back all right so it is the the next day and i just fed everybody we got one that i just gave a shot of lycomycin to um i'm gonna go give some i'm gonna run to family farm to grab some electrolytes real quick but i'm not too concerned with him he's just just having a day but i'm gonna try to stay ahead of it this time i'm not gonna play any games um so you guys antibiotics He's up, he's walking around. He took a, he took a bottle, um, a very watered down bottle with a couple of eggs in it. You know, standard, I'm not really worried about the scours. I had, I kind of had that dialed in um, before the other ones got the pneumonia. Um, so I'm focusing really hard on the, keeping the bedding as dry as possible um, and just keep them hydrated. So not worried, just stuff I gotta deal with. So run there. Grab some electrolytes, head on back, give them electrolytes. Wait like an hour, then I'm gonna give them another um, bottle, a warm bottle with probably a touch of uh, replacer in it. I don't think I'm gonna give another egg, you already had two. And it makes your poop really weird. Uh, if y'all ever given a calf eggs a lot, their poo gets like really yellow. I mean, it's not scours anymore, but it's just like this weird yellow poop from the egg. Um, but uh, yeah, so everything's doing good. They're, I mean, I got some really nice, like now that they've kind of calmed down, they've been eating, I got some really nice calves at the last sale. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna check those all out once I give him that. Um, yeah, so see you in a minute. Well, more often than not, I come to a family farm and they never have what I need. I feel like I'm always in need of something they don't have it. It's this particular store. 
I don't know. So track supply is the other town over. It's not far. It's like six, seven miles maybe at the most. Um, dang, that's just annoying. But what can you do? I guess. Uh, you can't do much about it. This lady's looking at me weird because I'm talking to myself looking at my phone. You be all right, lady. Anyway, yeah, every time I come to a family farm and home, this one in particular, I never get. But I wanted an oral gel electrolyte for calves, and they didn't have it. They didn't have any, actually, any kind of vitamin B12 or anything like that. It's, they're always out. And I don't know if it's, I mean, it's farm country. People have, there's tons of dairy farms around here. But it is what it is. We'll go to uh, track supply. Um, I gotta run back to the farm quick. So, and then we'll I'm gonna throw a little extra bedding down because um, we're getting some uh, rain tonight. So, I'm gonna get them kind of uh, dried out a little bit because I don't want any issues whatsoever with respiratory issues because of moisture. So, we're gonna really fluff them up good. And then uh, I'll go get that B12 and I'll try to give him another feeding. And uh, I'll just stay on top of him. I'll keep you all updated on that. There'll be a lot, probably this video will be a lot of me just coming back and checking, going back and checking. Because you can tell he's dehydrated, his eyes are kind of sunk back, skin's tight, not bouncing back. Um, so he's definitely, uh, he's feeling, he's not feeling great. So we're just gonna keep pushing the fluids in him. And, uh, he'll perk up, we'll be all right. So I'll see you here in a minute. Right, here's my troubled, troubled bull calf here. See, he's got him standing. He's not quite, he already got a shot. Um, he's, he's kind of standing, he's got some energy, but he's not quite eating. As you can see, he's got pretty good scours going on. But, I'm gonna keep at it. What else is doing good? Just snoozing in there. It's gonna be a little too high. So, uh, sorry, I couldn't get much more video. Uh, Dave was there, the guy that uh, I get that property from, and he was talking, so I couldn't really shoot a video. But I'll be back anyway, because I got to check on uh, that calf here in a couple hours and just stabbing him. The, uh, he's not in death throes or anything. He's still able to stand up. I lift him up. He's able to move his head around, look around. He didn't lay, he actually can lay down instead of flop down. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting, uh, getting that uh, liquid in him. He's, He's sucking still, but he's kind of on the fence. So we'll keep an eye on him. Everyone else is doing amazing. Uh, I'm gonna move them into the group pen probably tomorrow. All the, not the sick one, of course, but the other ones I'll put in the group pen so they can run around, get a little more space. Um, so yeah, but um, I got a couple errands, but actually I'm gonna take in another errand. So I got the, the trailer with me. Uh, he bought a, uh, what'd you buy, a coon coon or? Something like that, pig. I don't know much about pigs. So I'm gonna pick that up for him. So we'll kind of run and do that. I'll kind of bring you along for that. And I still gotta get the tractor supply, so we're gonna go do that. Um, the wife wants to look at the new farm. She wants to take measurements for decorating. So we'll probably do that. This is probably a little bit longer a video. I feel like I've, I've done some really short ones lately. So if y'all dig it, great. This one will be a little longer. If you don't like it, sorry, it's a little longer. I'm um, just trying to keep that content moving. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Big in here for Dave. Good looking mama, she's preggers. Not too bad. Maybe there's some of her babies I'll buy a couple off Dave. Huh? Yeah. Well, he's gotta get some, some stuff out of here. All right, back to it. It's just a little uh, soupy out there. We uh, we got a little stuck. 
Then we got unstuck. I don't know if this side. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Only ripped up Dave's field a little bit, but it's his pig. So, what's the matter, right? Eh? You got him? Huh? Got him on the neck. Got him on the neck? You petting him? Yeah. That's a good, what do you want to call this one? Um, Loopy. Loopy? Yeah. Loopy. Loopy the calf? Yeah. All right, bud. That's, that's what oh, we'll name what? him. Who's that? What? Oh, that's another goat. That's Brownie. Brownie? Brownie, yep. Yeah. All right. So we, uh, it took a little longer to get the pick than I thought. We weren't able to get the tractor supply. Got my buddy here. Say hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, we're gonna get him some food. He wants McDonald's, so we're gonna get him McDonald's, and then uh, I'm gonna get him home. And I'm gonna come check on the sick calf again, and just make sure that he's uh, he's comfortable and he's eating. I just checked on. He he popped up when I poked him. He was like looking around. So that's all good things. So McDonald's, right, bud? Yeah. Yep. We'll see you in a minute. How's your food? Good. Is that everything you ever dreamed about? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see me. Um, so I'm heading to do the second feeding of the day. I wanna try to get some video. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. I'll have to use the light, we'll see. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, the calf that's kinda of sick is still doing all right. Like I said, he was three, four hours ago. He's still doing, he was alert and whatever. I'm hoping that antibiotics, you know, in his system and he's hydrating a little bit. So I'm gonna try to, it's hard to, to film or to film, man, uh, video, um, anything with just me and calves require like every body part it feels like. It's not to use my knee to hold one and do the other. It's just kind of a, a thing, I don't know, but it's right out there now. Let's, uh, let's, let's check on everybody get the night feed and then we'll cap this video uh, maybe with uh, a little uh, chit chat about, I have no idea, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm probably gonna edit this out because I have no idea what I'm trying to say. So we'll just see you in a minute. All right, so we're gonna finish this video out. I uh, gave sick calf about three quarters of a bottle. I had to force it, it took like an hour. If he took it, we'll see if he's dead or alive tomorrow morning. We'll just finish out this beautiful little girl here. He's pretty. Yeah. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you all in the next one. All right.